All right, let's get started. 2020, man. What a year. What a year it has been. Long, rough year for everyone, probably. I know it's been rough for some, and my condolences for those who, anyone out there who's, you know, lost loved ones uh, throughout this year, period, whether it be from COVID or other reasons. Again, I'm thankful for one upstairs for allowing me to see it another day, man. Got to be grateful. Got to, you know, stay positive. Keep, keep, keep your mind right. Uh, just focusing on the positive things that are going on in your life. Anything that you can find positive, stick with it. It'll help you have, you know, a lot better day um, on the regular. But I am looking forward to see, you know, what the future holds for us. Just want to do a quick, quick review or overview of, you know, how, how my year went. Super quick. Uh, and also, so it's like a have, have 2020 end of the year review. Um, slash what I got, what goodies I got for Christmas, okay? <laughs> so I got a little Tackle Warehouse unboxing. And I know it's some baits that I have that, you know, I definitely want to, uh, you know, point out to you guys. Uh, some tried and trues and some new baits that I'm going to be trying this year. Or at least trying to get, you know, get better at using, period. Uh, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Now, like I said, I just want to get a quick, quick 2020 synopsis. I know, if you, I mean, I don't know if you guys seen the video at the beginning of this previous, I mean, beginning of this year, beginning of 2020, I had a 2020 goals video. The question is, did I reach all the goals? I don't forget how many goals. I may have set seven or eight goals, really. But I did reach majority of them. No, I got this year. I got to fish with a couple different, you know, YouTubers uh, in the area. Uh, one was Rhino Fishing TV. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. And also, I got to fish with Nova Outdoors. I'll also leave a link to his channel down below. You guys, definitely check him out. Both great guys. A lot of great content on their channels. Um, had a great time with them. You know, learning. I always like fishing with other people, period. You learn different things from these other people. You know, how they interpret how the day is going to go, how they're going to fish that condition. So it's always good to, you know, go fish with others. I did get get a chance to meet, a, you know, a few other people, period. Who was like, you know, met through a friend through a friend. Uh, and become a good buddies, things like that. Got to fish with them a little bit. Again, I, I definitely enjoy fishing with other people, and I got I got to you know meet that goal this year. I did reach my goal of creating a playlist, uh, bass fishing for beginners crash course. I'll leave a link to that up here, uh, just in case you guys you know didn't see it or know someone who wants to get into fishing this upcoming year. Uh, it's a super quick crash course, only a few videos. Uh, just literally super basic steps of how to get into bass fishing. Um, from you know, from your rod and reel choice to you know lines, certain little baits. Just keep keeping the budget friendly, having you know, so people could pick up things that uh, items that aren't crazy expensive, but you can get out there, go fish, and go catch them. So that's a quick little playlist there if you want to check it out, or like I said, send it to a friend who might be wanting to get into bass fishing. Uh, like I said, step by step, how to start start bass fishing and enjoy the sport that we love. Oh, I did catch my PB this year. I uh, was six. 6.13, 6, six pounds, 13 ounces. Um, it was out of a little little backwoods pond, as I call it, a little se secret spot. And I think that was June 5th. Yeah, June 5th. Yeah, it was like right before full moon. Or something like right on the full moon, somewhere around there. But all I know, it was like perfect scenario. I, I know the location. Uh, I knew it had big bass in it. Um, it had, had a storm coming in, maybe like an hour or two later. So barometric pressure was dropping. It, it was just like perfect setup. On top of vegetation with a frog, man. That was that was a crazy day, but regardless, I did catch a PB on film, weighed it six thirteen. Uh, hopefully, this upcoming year I want to break it. So that's always the goal each year, right? Break your PB. But I am grateful that I was able to to you know catch that fish, get it on film. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you didn't see it, I'll leave a link up here. It was a fun day, fun day, real fun day, man. Can't can't complain. So one of the goals I had I had this year that I did not get to accomplish or complete. Um, it was a win first place or at least winning, winning first, second, or third place in a, a bass fishing tournament. I uh, know they hold the Aquaquan tournament sort of for John Boats. It's my John Boat right there. I don't know if you can tell. Whatever. But yeah, they have bass fishing tournaments over there um, over in Aquaquan Reservoir. Always, always a fun time. You know, a fun time to go fish, period, in a tournament. I'm, I love being competitive. Uh, doesn't matter to me if we do 1v1s. One, either way, it doesn't matter to me. I like having fun, like being competitive. So. I didn't get to accomplish that goal of winning first, second, or third place. Uh, like I said, I did try to compete, but it is what it is. I tried, you know, I tried my best. Uh, I know Jeff and I fished, fished a bunch of tournaments, really. <laughs> um, but I know eventually we'll, we'll get one. We'll get one eventually. But now I did not accomplish that goal, but it's still on the radar. Best believe that. I'm, I'm still trying to win. <laughs> at least one, man. Maybe not the entire, like, classic for the whole year, but at least one of those tournaments. You know, I, I don't... I have a wife and a child, so I don't get to fish every single tournament or enough tournaments in a year for me to qualify for the class. I don't have a wife, child, regular job, and some other stuff. But it is what it is. I will try to, you know, 
get a few of those in next year as well to try to at least win one. But yeah, that's it. That's my quick synopsis for 2020. Um, outside of COVID and family losses, things like that, man, I, I just on the fishing aspect, I think fishing went pretty well this year. I got to experience some new places. Like, like I said, I wanted to, I got to experience some, um, catch some fish on some different baits this year that I don't normally catch them on. So that, that was fun, you know, adding things to my arsenal. On that note, I'll get straight to my unboxing. Um, I didn't make a su super huge purchase, but again, like I said, I got some baits in here that I, you know, really want to show you guys, really want to get you guys feedback. Um, you know, whether you think it's great or not, good, going to work, um, some things I want to try out. Maybe you, if you've never seen this bait or, you know, want to give it, give it a shot by all means. All right, all right, let's get straight to it. I don't know what I want to do. Throw it in the box or? All right, so right off the bat, um, we're in, we're in winter time right now, right? Well, early winter? No, it's winter. The water temps are like 40 something. It's it's flipping winter. Okay, outside was like 20 something the other day. It's flipping winter, man. All right. So right off the back, got cold water temps. So this right here is a couple blade baits. Um, actually caught a few this this year. Actually, <laughs> not too long ago on a on, on blade bait. Just trying to get you know better a new technique. This is uh, by Cotton Ordell. Uh, just little you know small shad patterns. So if you guys got a good little look at that. But these are I think quarter ounce. Like that. I um, definitely want to get better, better at some blade bait fishing when it's, you know, when it comes to cold water. Your arsenal isn't that that large when it comes to cold water. Like I, I think it's like maybe like five things you can throw, maybe five, five to seven. Compared to like summertime when I, I have the front of my boat fully lined up with all my rods and the different stuff on it. Um, but yeah, just want to get a little better at that. All right, so when I say I picked up some crankbaits, like I picked up a lot of flipping crankbait. I picked up a good amount of crankbaits. They're all the same. Cause this color is bomb.com, bro. That chartreuse uh, powder blue back is like absolutely money, money <laughs> when it comes to like stained water, man. Uh, especially like, cause this is, these are all deep divers. Um, and they say I got what six of them. So I think I ordered six last year and I lost six. Even even with the plug knocker, I do have that to try to save baits. Yes, I've saved baits this year, but sometimes they get they get stuck where they can't get unstuck. Was that a double negative? I don't know. I forgot. It's kind of late right now. Whatever. <laughs> but I couldn't. I couldn't get the bait back out. So I lost this many. Got to replace, right? So that's that. Got some swim bait. So never try. I never tried these before. I've heard good things about these. It's called the uh, D Walker uh, 100 size. Um, definitely want to. You know, little shad patterns. Uh, I like this like albino, albino white kind of color. Uh, I think these are gonna be really good, really good swim baits. Um, you can rig them, you know, weedless, uh, underspin. I think they're gonna be really good this year. I only have one because I already, already have, <laughs> already have a bunch here. But I, I bought it, bought some spinner baits. Okay, you guys see that there? Booyah spinner baits. If you guys recommend me a better, better spinner baits, let me know. Um, I, I'm actually terrible at spinner bait fishing. I throw it. I have a rod dedicated for it. Have I caught any on it? I've caught a few. When I say a few, it might be like five bass on a spinner bait. <laughs> but I want to get better at this this year. A lot of people, you know, swear by it. Um, people say they caught PBs on spinner baits. They say that's the you know last resort to go to spinner bait because they know it catches fish. But I'm still in the single digits when it comes to catching bass on spinner bait. So got that. Uh, we're gonna see if we can catch a few of those this year. Again, let me know down down below. You know, if you I heard like War Eagle was a good company too, or is it War, is it War Eagle? But let me know. Let me know down below in the comment section. Now this is a, this is a secret bait. I mean, I know I'm about to show you it, but I don't think many people use it, have it, know about it. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be money this year coming up. Um, this is the Dredger, uh, made by Berkeley. That's a 20 20 foot diver, and then the color. I don't know if you've seen that color there. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's it's a chameleon color on top. With a little chartreuse. In it. I think I think this thing is going to be money man like i bought a couple and i've seen you know seen a few videos I, I i normally watch pros on on youtube things like that um just see see what they're tossing because they know all the new stuff before any of us know about it but not saying this is brand new to the market period i'm just saying it's new to me and i can't wait to throw it so looking forward to that got some jigs i uh, got some jigs i'm not that great at catching fish on jigs and i think that's like a well, i say not that great at it. I, I don't throw it enough put it that way i, I plan on throwing a lot more this year throwing, throwing jigs more um i've caught some on jigs don't get me wrong caught, caught a few here and there and i think it's just a thing of 
when you started when you started bass fishing, if you started with jigs, you started catching with jigs, you use jigs more often than a Texas rig. I started with Texas rig. I catch a lot more fish using Texas rig than I do with jig. Um, but I, I want to get better at this. Like I said, I, I'm a firm believer in quality comes from jigs, okay? Not saying you can't catch good quality with, you know, with soft plastic on a Texas rig. Not saying that at all. Um, but I've seen absolute giants pull it off on some jigs. Got some jigs. These are actually mop jigs. Um, you can see the there. Got some browns, some uh, green pumpkins. So yeah, look forward to that. And a few little trailer, you know, little trailer for it. I think it's watermelon, race tail. Some um, crawdad, you know, craw, crayfish, crawfish, crawfish, crayfish, rage baby craw. Yeah. Got a couple tungsten, tungsten weights here. I think these are three eighths. Yeah, three eighths. Woo! Woo, baby. I'm gonna say that when I catch the fish too. But yeah, three eighths ounce, so you can either drag that deep or once it comes a little, little warmer, they like a little faster fall around, you know, at least where I fish. I think more, more everyone around the country really when the water warms up a lot more, they want a little faster action. So that three eighths ounce. Some some people choose you know half ounce uh, jigs things like that, but half ounce three eighths ounce for the Texas rig, money. Um, so I got a couple some big hooks here, Trocar seven knot. These are underspin swim bleeds as they call them call them here, but underspin. I like the corkscrew corkscrew top man. Can't go wrong with that. So, I, I think I have one actually. I'll show you it in a little bit. But, no, I love the corkscrew top. And these are gonna be for my big swim baits. I plan on catching more fish on big swim baits this year. I bought a couple swim baits, did. More crank baits. More crank baits. I think this is gonna work really good where I, when I fish the Potomac, Potomac is majority staying in order. Anytime you're back in coves and you know you, you had rain or just back in coves period with uh, water runoff period, it's gonna create some mud or a mud stirrup. So I get into a lot of stain areas. So when I say I had a um, Strike King lipless crankbait in this color, went to town. So I'm gonna try to crankbait in this color. <laughs> that color is called Wicked. It's called Wicked. Uh, 1.5 size KVD. And these are just some more uh, green green gizzard shad color uh, crankbaits. Again, in 1.5 by Strike King. So a bunch of those. So I bought one more of these. This is a smaller frog. Uh, by striking uh, this size and this color was like going crazy when I was snakehead fishing when I say going crazy majority of my bites came off this size and this color and I don't I'm not sure why I don't know if it's the little you know semi chartreuse tails greenish chartreuse tails or yellow bellies I'm not I'm not sure all I know is that I've tried other frogs other colors uh, I know some guys you know fish with white white frogs things like that um, I do have I think I have one whatever but this one was catching them, okay? So I'm going to definitely re-up on that. Uh, what I caught my PB on this year, I bought two more of these. They're the, I think it's like a leopard. Leopard is a color. Yeah, leopard frog. Uh, just trim off the tail a little bit. Or, you know, skirt, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but trim it off a little bit, man. I definitely picked up a couple more of those. That's it. That's it for baits. Um, actually, no, it's not. One more bait, and I picked up a rod and a reel. Two rods and a reel. All right, so this right here is uh, Janterol. I believe it's made by Jackal, uh, J-A-C-K-A-L-L. -L. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to, you know, try a couple different swim baits. Uh, that one's a hard, hard bait there, and I got some, you know, a couple big soft plastics I want to try out as well. All right, so first rod is the Shimano SLX there. You guys can see that. Heard great, great things about it. Seen some great reviews on it, man. It's gonna be, gonna be a little uh, spinning setup here. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot more sensitive. It's actually a lot lighter than my previous rod I had. Um, it was my previous rod was made by Casking. I think it's the Crixus lineup. Um, the reel is still the reel is still Casking Crixus. I, I love this reel, man. You see that the, those grips are awesome, man. Funny, but yeah, I don't even know. I still like my Casking stuff. Um, and I kind of kept this one here. It has a has a warranty there, and I, apparently I, I like the. Apparently break rods and forget about warranties. I don't know why, but that happened like twice. And yeah, whatever. <laughs> but no, a little spinning setup, man. Got a little shaky head on there. Ready for some, ready for some clear water. But no, when I say super light, like super light setup here. Uh, seven foot, I believe it's uh, medium heavy, fast action. Uh, just for you know a little finesse technique. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people go medium. 
uh, on their finesse rods, but um, I have another rod for that purpose, super finesse. So eh, we'll see. So far, I like it. I like the action to it. Super light, man. And like I said, all my all the reviews I've read, uh, watch videos. Uh, everyone loves this. And as far as like, I, I put a little, you know, a little more money into my equipment uh, as well this year. As far as getting things a little more sensitive, uh, so I can when I'm crawling things on bottom. Just real quick tip on you know swimming baits, uh, chatter baits, any little swim jigs, things like that. It's moving. It's you're, you're doing one of these with. You don't have to necessarily worry too too hard about uh, sensitivity in a rod, but something like that. When anything that connects to the bottom, if I'm dragging, dragging the shaky head, uh, rods that drag jigs on the bottom, your regular, your regular flipping, flipping sticks, regular, uh, you know, Texas rig rod that you might have, those you want to put a little more emphasis on sensitivity because those bites can be very subtle at times, and you want to have that feel up in that rod so you, you know, can feel a lot quicker, a lot easier, I guess you say, so you can set the hook and capitalize on that, on that, you know, catching that fish. Uh, second, the second purchase, uh, as far as rod wise. Mike's right here is a Dobbins Fury series. It's a swim bait rod. It's actually a seven foot nine. Yeah, seven foot nine, medium heavy, fast action. Uh, it's made for swim baits, glide baits, uh, umbrella rigs. Uh, I do. I did have a, a heavy rod, but I, again, I just went up a little, little more in price. Uh, it's not not crazy expensive or anything like that. If anybody who has you know has Dobbins, they're they're a good price point for quality. Uh, and again, just a swim bait rod. As you can see, I got a nice six inch. Uh, mag drive freestyle on here uh, with that that trocar hook I was talking about uh, a little earlier corkscrew top goes right into that swim bait just fine and a nice seven out hook waiting for him <laughs> no man this this rod for as big as a rod it is it is very light and last purchase that I'm really excited to fish with right here is this lose super duty 300 and it holds like double the line of a, of a regular uh, regular reel pair that up with this right here because I, I do want to you know make like bomb casts uh, so I can you know slow roll this or whatever I'm trying to do as far as with, or, or I can put a uh, you know a super heavy jig long bomb cast I uh, like I said um, umbrella rigs big glide beats this this rod is supposed to be able to handle that and this reel is definitely supposed to, to handle that <laughs> so I uh, love love the grips on them, man. I think it's wind wind grips. Um, so far, like just you know, I haven't I haven't got a chance to throw it in the water. I'll be uh, well, throw it in the water. <laughs> Hope I don't drop this in the water, but throw this setup uh, just yet. But I look forward. I look forward to it, guys. Please let me know down below if you think there's any baits that I you know I should go ahead and just purchase and you know try out that you. I, I know I'm not saying I you know I want to give away your secret baits or anything like that, but. By all means, if you think you got something that, you know, hey man, I've been catching them, you know, been crushing them this year on this bait, by all means, leave a, leave a comment down below. I'm all willing to try try new things out. Like I said, add things to my arsenal. And I do want to thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, definitely, channel has definitely grown this year. I greatly appreciate it, man. You can't, you guys, I, I can't put in words how much I appreciate you guys' support. So I do want to do another another giveaway come January. Uh, so guys, stay tuned for that. Uh, follow me on uh, Instagram, SD Fishing, so you guys can stay tuned with, you know, up to date. That's like the most up-to-date things <laughs> it's definitely on my instagram i'm at facebook as well smd fishing but i do post a lot more on instagram um but like i said i do want to do another giveaway so stay tuned for that i'm truly grateful for every everyone i hope that we have a you know a better year next year <laughs> we'll see how this all this goes how all this turns out thank you guys again man for all your support if you if you're new here to the channel thank you for staying tuned this long uh, definitely subscribe to the channel I do a lot of bass fishing um, matter of fact, any any kind of fishing really, if I can, if I can get out there and do it, <laughs> caught striper this year. Like, it, it's been it's been a crazy year fishing wise. Oh, but again, bass fishing tips. By all means, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post a video. I usually post a video about every single week, uh, sometimes a few videos a week. It uh, depends on how much content I, I can I can uh, dish out <laughs> as fast as possible. Thank you guys for your support again. Hope everyone has a happy new year and had you know a good holiday season. We're gonna try and go into this next year with you know good vibes, positive attitudes. Even when things aren't going the best, but you know, we try to stay positive. Uh, I myself, I'm, <laughs> well, New Year's resolution, as, as folks say it, try to be more disciplined, not procrastinate on the little things. So we'll see. I'll try to hold myself, hold myself accountable. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the water. You guys take care. Again, happy holidays.